Now for those of you wanting adventure in remote parts of Australia or in your home country, you're going to need to be self-sufficient, able to carry out simple repairs or servicing when it's required. I wouldn't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere just due to a simple fault, which anyone with basic level of skill can fix. So those of us with uh, pre-computerized Land Rovers, there's almost nothing you can't fix with a basic level of mechanical skill. So you're going to need to carry a good remote area toolkit, which includes your spare parts and recovery gear. And that should basically make your Landy unstoppable in the right hands. So let's take a look at what I carry when I'm traveling in remote areas. Okay, for starters, you're going to want to carry uh, a good supply of all your oils and fluids for your vehicle. So I've got some uh, engine coolant, power steering fluid, engine oil, your diff oil, clutch and brake fluids. Uh, I'm good to, ch good to chuck in some inox, or rather RP7, just for waterproofing the electrical bits, uh, a bit of lubrication. I chuck in some bars bugs too, just to help clean the windscreen. So this is a good starting kit. Uh, you're going to find in remote areas, you won't have access to all these uh, when you're traveling through. So keep your fluids with your vehicle, especially for Land Rovers. Okay, these are the main spares which I carry for my vehicle. I've got my two fan belts, one for the alternator, the other for the fan. I also carry all three uh, spare hoses for my radiator. Um, they can be prone to bursting and you don't want to uh, lose all your coolant when you're at five, six hundred k's from the nearest town. So that's uh, a good basic uh, spare parts kit. Some other parts I like to carry. Uh, an axe, got my entrenching tool, some jumper cables, an air compressor. You definitely want one of these when you're traveling out remote parts. If you've got to let your tires down for doing sand driving, beach driving, going through uh, some soft water crossings, great to pump up your vehicle again. Also have a uh, just a work light, just so uh, break down in the middle of the night. Just plug her in, get underneath your vehicle, see what's there. Good to have. Okay, for my toolkit, I've got a good selection of tools. I can uh, basically do most of my uh, bush servicing and repairs. I have a good quality socket set. Now I bought, did buy a cheap version of one of these and the blade thing started breaking on me. So I bought myself a good quality one. I've got a good selection of uh, the spanners. I've uh, got hammer. Uh, some pliers, need a little saw for cutting off uh, nuts and bolts, lock pliers and shifters. Also got a few other odds and ends, files, wire is usually good to carry for tying up things. For my electrical system, always carry spare wire in case I need to do a, a, a reroute or something, there's a major fault. Also need to carry uh, a good set of uh, electrical connections and a digital multimeter meter is excellent to have. Make sure you learn how to use the, one of these. You can definitely trace uh, all kinds of faults with one, one of those. I think the most important tool and asset you can have is a manual for your vehicle. Uh, even if you're not mechanically skilled, there may be someone who can help you on, meet you on the road that can use this to fix your car. So. Um, it often gets quite a bit of use. Also has uh, electrical diagrams for your vehicle, and that can help you track down any problems you may have. So it's a good basic uh, remote area toolkit. Now I store all my tools underneath the driver's seat, keeps them neat and tidy, and they're always there for me when I need them. This is my basic uh, recovery kit, which I keep with my vehicle. I got a 1600 kilogram Magnum hand winch, absolutely valuable piece of equipment out here, uh, especially if you don't have a front mounted winch. You can see this fella in action in one of my videos. Now it's fairly slow going, but it will get you out in the end. Also have my rear recovery point, it just fits into my tow bar. I've got a basic kit here from TJM, this comes in a, a ready made bag. Got your tree protector, uh, snatch strap, and winch extension strap. 
So that's three basic things you'll need, plus some spare D and bow shackles. Make sure they're properly rated for uh, your truck. The defender's about a good two ton or so. Also have just a, a winching blanket. And it's great to wear some gloves too. I also carry a high lift jack, which I mount uh, underneath my rear seats. And also the original uh, Land Rover uh, jack. I use that for my rear uh, jacking points. And that's my remote area kit, which I like to carry. Now, depending on where you're going, you'll need to add more or take less. But uh, it's a good standard to keep your Land Rover going wherever you go in Australia. Bushman Productions AU, catch you later.